hello everybody and welcome to my channel again um if you haven't you could subscribe to my channel uh trying to grow it uh most of my videos are product reviews uh on different things also uh research medical research uh a lot of stuff fibromyalgia burning mouth syndrome um list goes on uh you know i do f a bunch of videos here and there um just to keep the the platform pretty active but uh I'll get on with this video, which is on the um, relation, possible relation between Bell's palsy and burning mouth syndrome. Um, as you all know, Bell's palsy causes uh, sinkiness in some people, also uh, disables the um, the C7 nerve, which is uh, um, the C7 is the CN7 nerve is uh, uh, the facial nerve uh, that comes out the base of the skull right here. Um, there's a hole, it runs uh, on the side of the face. Um, the nerve does not uh, like c come back to life. It dies and a new nerve grows around it. And that's why like a period of three months, somebody uh, uh, regains movement of their face through a new nerve growing around the dead one. Um, in the same pattern, um, I've had Bell's palsy myself, so I know what it is. My, my right, I got it on my left side, so my right eye opens more, even though I got it about a couple years ago. Uh, everything's not back 100%, but I'm still glad that uh, my eye opens up. Um, so there's two, uh, two different uh, parts of the C7 I wanna talk about, the buccal branch and also the uh, marginal mandibular branch, which are uh, uh, part three and part four of the nerve, which are five parts. So that's why I like to talk about the nerve like of a hand because we have five fingers as five parts of the C7, CN7 nerve. Um, so let's focus on part three and four, the buccal branch and the marginal mandibular branch of the nerve. Um, the uh, buccal branch controls this nerve right here and the mandibular branch right here. So that's why we're focusing on. So those are the basically uh, some of the nerves that may affect uh, uh, burning mouth syndrome as well. Um, there's no definitive uh, uh, conclusion on this, um, but uh, since they traverse those areas, um, uh, you know, it would take deeper research in those, uh, those specific nerves uh, uh, as part of the CN7 nerve. Um, uh, you know, like a lot of the, the research that comes out right now is uh, uh, too difficult for uh, layman in layman terms. Uh, for this, the, uh, someone who's not versed in medical uh, lingo, but uh, basically, you know, uh, the loss of the C7 nerve uh, is what causes Bell's palsy, but maybe the opposite is the reason why people suffer from burning mouth syndrome, um, which would be the hyperactive nerve, uh, uh, something that is, uh, is uh, experiencing um, uh, a lack of GABA. -A. The only reason why I'm bringing up GABA -A again is because uh, uh, it's noticeable. I've taken, uh, um, uh, you know, clonopin, which inhibits the uh, the activity of the um, the the GABA A neurotransmitter, and I've noticed a decline in, in pain. Um, I'm not on clonopin anymore. Um, I'm more into uh, Ruvik medicine now, uh, plant based. Um, just because clonopin, you know, you never know the long-term side effects. Don't trust drug companies. Don't trust most doctors to uh, give you the best information. Uh, although they're the, the most qualified, it doesn't mean that their information isn't coming directly from the drug suppliers who control uh, the media and control the means of information regarding those drugs, what they want you to know and what they don't want you to know. Obviously, uh, the FDA only... Uh, acknowledges 11 past uh, tests for uh, a, a drug to pass its approval. Uh, it doesn't matter how many times the drug fails, though. If the drug fails 100 times but passed 11 tests, it still is approved. Uh, the amount of money they want to spend is what determines whether a drug really passed or not because the, they, can, they can submit any test they want, um, and, and that's why it's a bias. Uh, foundation for a medication as far as uh, truly helping people with BMS 
truly helping people with Bell's palsy um, because of the fact that, uh, uh, you know, um, it really takes people that are, are uh, you know, actively involved in, uh, um, in uh, creating a solution for these issues, uh, you know, um, it's just a, a, a bureaucratic thing, I believe, more so than, oh, we don't know, you know, it, it goes beyond that. These people are are ver well versed in uh, medical uh, experience, and um, you know it's just a matter of uh, of educating uh, more people about everything uh, in regards to uh, Burning Mouth Syndrome. Um, but uh, again, uh, there will be more research on this. Uh, so the point of this video is the buccal branch and the marginal mandibular branch are two of the main um, main correlated nerves uh, that uh, target the, the mouth movement. Um, so, uh, you know, there could be a correlation between Bell's palsy and burning mouth syndrome, definitely. Uh, I've gotten both. So uh, in my case, you know, I can conclude some relation um, as far as empirical evidence, that's hard because, uh, you know, it's impossible for someone to examine their, themselves. Uh, so, uh, again, you guys have a great day and enjoy your evening. Bye.